congratulations Gary. Yeah. A huge win and a massive three points really. Yeah, massive three points, you know, we knew it was going to be a tough game today and uh, it certainly lived up to it in every way. I think that a lot of people look at, you know, league tables when first play against second, they think it's going to be a little bit of a dour game because teams are going to be, you know, a little bit reserved, but uh, it was far from it. I think it was a great, great example for two very good hard working sides out there on the, on, on the day and of course we've got off to the ideal start, find ourselves 1-0 up and you know and from there on it was end to end and you know they have had some the pressure at times and desperate defending and of course some great saves from Aaron Al and everything else there and then we've had chances ourselves and great advert for football I think that you know when we're coming up 45 minutes I think we're all tired of watching such an exhausting first half in respect of you know both teams going for it but I think the second half got even better to be fair even though um, Dartford had a lot of possession and created some very good chances. You know, we still had our moments in the game, and of course, we going down to 10 men in the last five minutes didn't help us at all. The game had everything. Eric's landed up 1 0, I never know. Uh, you know, another day it could have been 3 each, 4 each, you know, and another day Dartford might have won the game. But, you know, we, we look at ourselves tonight and uh, put ourselves in a very strong position now, there's no doubt about that. It was a big six point of the day, and I think that the difference between uh, being 14 points clear. And eight points is massive uh, psychologically as well. So uh, we're very pleased. Long way to go. You know, we're not going to be turning around and thinking we've done the job because we beat a very good Dartford side here today. There's a lot of other good sides in the league who are fighting for points for different reasons in respect of uh, trying to get in the playoffs and move away from relegation areas. So, you know, it'll be a case, and I've just said to all the players they're after. You know, we've still got a lot of points to play for, but uh, you know, we will treat everyone and. Uh, play against every team with the utmost respect yeah, and hopefully get to our target what we need. And a game really for your experienced players today, people like Alan Innes, Adam Newton I thought were immense. Yeah, you know, we've, we've uh, gone very experienced, uh, gone very experienced at the moment, which you think you have to do sometimes. Uh, this was a type of game which uh, we had to do that. We had a tremendous boost by getting Kevin Betsy to sign, who had some wealth of experience and a, a woke favourite coming back to the club. And uh, when he agreed to sign uh, late Thursday evening, even though he's been training with us over you know, the last few weeks, uh, he made an impression, the same as everybody. We said that, you know, today everybody has got to roll their sleeves up and do the ugly side of the game and work hard for each other and defend when you have to, even if you don't like doing it, you've got to do it. And we've got a result here today. It's a massive, I'm so pleased for everybody connected at the club. Um, you know, our supporters have been different class all year and there's people who work voluntary around the club and I keep on about the booster budget and directors and everyone and, Tremendous result for the club, you know, we, we mustn't get carried away as I say, but you know, the club's, the club's certainly going back in the right direction, um, you know, they've had some lean years and some lean times down here, but uh, all credit to them people, um, you know, it was very good at the end there to see so many people smiling, you could see the relief uh, with the management staff and um, everybody around the ground as supporters, but you know, like I say, um, all credit to Tony Burma and uh, his staff and Darford because they're a good outfit, no doubt about that. Um, I have seen them play a little bit recently and uh, I know it would be a tough nut, but they were a better side than what I give them credit for. I thought that um, we'd have too much for them, but on the day they're probably going home here tonight. Probably disappointed they haven't picked nothing up at all. And you mentioned Kevin Betsy. Uh, you must have been perhaps a little bit concerned about his fitness levels because he's, he's only played twice and that was back in September. But they held up really, really well, didn't they? Yeah, he's um, a lad who looks after himself. He's, as we know, he's a model pro and uh, he looks after himself the proper way. And like I say he's um, a very well educated football player, you know, he knows how to play the game and he's reckoned speaks for himself. But a nice lad with it, you know, he's. Uh, you know, always turned around and said, which I've been made aware of, that you know, if he does come back into non-league at a time in his career, it will always be his favourite club, Woken, and he's a man to his word. You know, we've we've been talking over the last few weeks, and it's always been very honest and open in both ways. But you know, I like to thank, um, I say, everybody at this football club, and from the chairman, the directors, and everybody, to give me and uh, Steve Thompson and all our staff uh, the support in respect of assembling a squad which hopefully now will you know push on and try and win the championship this season and another hard game coming up next week against Hampton and we know don't we having played the likes of Staines and Bromley that teams at the bottom can be very dangerous yeah I think that uh, you know that's a fair 
fair statement. You know, you're, you're playing against teams at the bottom who are fighting for their lives to get points and come away from an area in the league where they don't want to be. So, you know, it's not a case of because we've got a good result here today, everything's took for granted. But, you know, we'll be hopefully ready. We'll prepare properly for the week, be nice and professional and go down the next Saturday and hopefully go and get another good result. Finally, Gary, 100 to 1 to be the next Spurs manager. I hope you're not going to leave us. I heard that actually. Uh, I heard there was a little bet going on that old mum at the one in the betting. That's, uh, that's nice to think. But uh, no, I don't think that'd be happening. I'd like the job, but I don't think this year is a uh, time. Nah, it's great, like, you know, hopefully the area stay, but, uh, you know, uh, sorry, you'll have a laugh and a bit of band about things. But I'll like say, yeah, um, we'll see what happens down there. But going forward here at Woking is tremendous, as I say, and uh, just like to thank everybody, as I say, uh, involved at the football club. Um, this is the day I think now that uh, I've put us in a very strong position. Lovely, thank you very much Gary and enjoy your evening. Thank you.